very exciting day today. It's also an exciting day for me because indeed this application is new. More sensitive? Yeah. This is, really hard, this is really hard to measure. So there's one way to go. The other trend is the tissue type. The game-changing element of the Rapiflex is that it provides at extremely high speeds detailed molecular information of the full tissue area with real pixel fidelity. Okay, this is a new uh, third generation of uh, Malditovs which was developed new from scratch and this is especially made for better imaging quality and faster imaging uh, measurements. It's much faster than everything which was there in the past. It's up to 20 times faster with what we did up to now. And it has much better imaging quality, it's easier to clean, it has long sustainability, so it really works 24-7. Uh, we uh, invented interesting new things. A core part of this new model is, is a, a third generation smart beam laser, smart beam 3D laser. It has uh, the feature of being able to move the laser itself, the beam around. So now we can move the target and we can move the beam. And we can even synchronize that, that while moving the target with the samples on it, we can also move the laser beam. Uh, on top of it, and with this we can run special uh, uh, modes of very fast imaging. Um, the other uh, new, uh, new technologies which we put in there is a, s a special way of cleaning the source. We can now easily for the customer take out parts of the iron optics which get dirty, uh, but on top of that we design the iron optics in a way that it's way more robust than before, um, so also this cleaning is not needed that, uh, that often. It will open up uh, the way to pathology, for example, because the pathologist labs, they will only work with such systems when, when they are fast enough. And in the past was way too slow, they wouldn't even think of using it. Meanwhile, it's in a range of uh, speed that it, it will work uh, for the pathologist. On the other hand, there are the researchers uh, who now can uh, do way more images and way more science per time, but they also will do larger images and they will do more resolution images uh, at the same time. And this allows also to do 3D imaging now in a reasonable time frame. We actually were lucky enough to try out the system before it was introduced and uh, we are particularly interested in using it for tissue typing. Tissue typing in a clinical setting. Tissue typing in a clinical setting is, for me, the step towards personalized medicine. Because if we want to treat patients personally, we need to diagnose them on a molecular level. Imaging mass spectrometry with tissue typing does exactly that. So what we've been doing with the Rapiflex uh, is using it to come up with molecular classifiers that distinguish one type of cells from the other in a sample that has been taken from a patient. In the past, it was very difficult to do this on a time scale that um, is actually useful in the clinic. Now it's done in a matter of minutes. It's a thousand shots per pixel and with that, with 10 kilohertz, it's 10 pixels per second. Um, it's a 60 micron pixel size and for this video we left the white stripes in the middle so you see the rectangular pixels. Normally one wouldn't do that. One would move it close to the other one and that is shown in this video. This is now 15 micron with 200 shots per pixel and without these white stripes in between. The people at this event uh, I think were blown away uh, with the speed that they've seen and specifically how Armin Holle showed the difference between the old instrument and the new instrument that where you'd have a really slow point by point analysis in the previous generation of instruments and now we do like a true scanner go like I mean that is really the difference and I mean how fast my finger moved just now that comparison as orders of magnitude is what people what really will stick to people that combined with the sensitivity uh, because of the speed of the of the of the instrument is very I mean, amazing, it's so fast compared to existing instruments. So we think that there, it's a, a, we enter into a new dimension uh, of this uh, mass spectrometry imaging field with this type of instrument. Speed is amazing, 
and resolution. It's about 5, 10 microns resolution. So it's sub subcellular resolution, which is a lot of demand from our sponsor and clients and partners. So we think there is a, it's a very nice instrument and we will be very happy to, to use it uh, very soon. Oh, I'm really, really impressed about this machine. I'm impressed about the high performances of this machine, the high resolution without losing sensitivity, the true pixel fidelity, and also the speed.